Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Okay, so what's up to everyone? We've got Edgar here. We've got Latino Locked and Loaded. We've got Joanna. we got Rolando. Puerto Rican Pistolero in the house. Um, let's see. So the the you know we've got the title going for this Edgar. Do you want to here? Let me pull up the article. I don't know if everyone actually had a chance to see this. Uh, John Crump wrote this article. It's on MLN News. Here it goes. It's entitled "Colorado Sheriff Rejects Training uh, cert- Certificate from Guns for Everyone," and uh, Larimer County, Colorado. Sheriff Justin Smith has decided to stop accepting training certificates from Guns for Everyone for concealed handgun permits within the county. Guns for Everyone offers free concealed carry classes to the general public of Colorado. They've trained thousands of citizens on safe gun handling practices and laws surrounding concealed carry in the Centennial State. Uh, is that what you guys, you guys are the Centennial State? Centennial State, yep. Oh, oh okay. I'm learning something. The free (laughs) classes have not uh, endeared them to their local concealed handgun instructors. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, Guns for Everyone moved the majority of their course online. The sheriff made a uh, post on Facebook accusing the organization of failing to comply with the statutory requirements of Colorado. The sheriff states that the online portion of the class was only 30 minutes long and that the in-person part of the course that the instructor just handed out the certificates to students. Uh, the sheriff's department claims that they were acting on a tip and investigated the class themselves. A source inside Larimer County Sheriff's Department informed Amoland that the tip originated from a rival instructor. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> you guys can definitely uh, read this article. It's available. We've got Edgar here so we can hear it from the uh, horse's mouth, so to speak. No, no uh, insult intended, sir. <laughs> no, no, not at all. none for for on, on my end. But yeah. um, that that's that kind of sums it up. Uh, the the sheriff. Uh, we kind of started hearing about this early June. Mm-hmm. Um, we had uh, a sheriff's office up in the mountains, Summit County. Uh, they contacted us and say, "Hey, we received an email. We got one of your students here. We we just want to clear things up." Mm-hmm. And they said, we received a, a tip very similar to that. And I said, well, I, I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, it's probably another instructor who has always hated us and, and is always constantly trying to sabotage us. She said, no, it, this came from another sheriff's office, which was weird to us. Hmm. Uh, it kind of all came back full circle anyways. Um, but many of the sheriff's offices actually reached out to us and said, like, it, it just we want to we want to see what's actually going on instead of just going off of what a sheriff says, mm-hmm. which big thanks to those sheriff's offices who who didn't just follow the 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 quote unquote um, line. Right. So when they and, so when the other sheriff's offices called you, they were also saying that a sheriff office said that or Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't until it wasn't until um, we um, I actually talked to a uh, well Larimer Sheriff's Office started posting it on on their actual official website. It wasn't even just Justin Smith's personal stuff. It was mm-hmm. on their official website mm-hmm. um, pointing me out specifically. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, not just Guns for Everyone as a whole, Guns for Everyone and me specifically. Mm-hmm. So I was able to talk to a sheriff in Albert County, and, and he said, no, this guy sent out an email um, like in late May, early June. Uh, to all of the sheriffs, and he read it to me. He read it to me. He told me uh, what it said. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it, it it took a lot of conversations like that with individual sheriffs who are like, oh, okay, like we didn't, we kind of paid attention to what it said, but at the same time, we we want to talk to you guys instead of just mm-hmm. listening to what this guy has to say because we don't know the backstory. These are politicians. These are people that are elected in. Like we we never know what the prior animosity is and, and all that yeah. stuff. So mm-hmm. I, I really appreciate to those that that, um, that actually called us up and, and clarified this. Um, at, at this point, it, it looks like Larimer standing alone. Um, we're uh, here waiting to hear back. They said they're, by Monday they would make their final 
uh, stand because we, we've been requesting like you before we continue with litigation we we have to make sure that this is the the, the rock that they actually want to die on right uh, um, uh, per se and mm-hmm. and they've got until Monday at this point is what okay. they told us okay so um, let's like backtrack a little bit here so guns for everyone you do offer a free course i think you you talked about that yeah when you're on the podcast do you want to just recap everyone maybe for people who never uh heard of it or just tell us briefly like why you guys do that so guns for everyone started doing uh the free concealed carry classes back in in, uh i think right around 2012 we've been around since 2010. Mm -hmm. about 2012 we started doing the free concealed carry classes because we heard that uh the the next year's uh 2013 that General Assembly was going to start introducing a lot of anti-gun bills. One of them was a bill that would have taken away the right for college students to carry concealed on campus. So we were like, well, let's do free concealed carry classes for uh, college students. Um, that bill died, uh, wasn't successful, it died, so Good. college students in Colorado are still able to carry on campus. Mm-hmm. And when it died, though, we were like, well, you know, it's kind of stupid that people have to pay for, for their privilege to, to defend themselves. It's not mm-hmm. something people should, you shouldn't have to ask for permission, nor should you have to pay for that permission uh, to defend yourself. Yeah. So let's and, and that's a barrier this. to entry in a lot, you know, in a lot of cases, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. Huge barrier to entry. Colorado, as lenient as lenient as we are with, with our gun laws, it is stupid expensive to pay for the permit in the state of Colorado. You could potentially pay up to one hundred fifty-two dollars and fifty cents uh, to get your permit, and then on top of that, for somebody to pay an instructor another $150 or $200. For us, it was just like, well, let's just make it free. This will be our activism. We started dabbling with activism in 2013, and you guys know, you guys have been to rallies, and like, yeah, the rally's cool, but at the end of the day, it's just like, ah, fizzles out, and and nothing really happens. We've seen Virginia, that was huge, but like right now, it's just like, ah, nothing really happened. So we use that as, as an activism thing. During the COVID, uh, because we were, everybody was being restricted, not just Colorado, everywhere was being restricted. Uh, we talked to the, the, the attorney, uh, Brian DeBush, who's, uh, uh, representing us, uh, big shout outs to, to Brian DeBush, uh, for, for helping us out. Uh, we talked to him and he said, Hey, this is how you can set up the classes. You could do a portion, but you still have to do an in-person, uh, stuff that we already knew, but you know, when an attorney tells you this is the way you should do it, mm-hmm. cause I wanted to get cuckoo. I wanted to like push buttons and like that he's like no nah, just just do it this way <laughs> nuclear <No>. option <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 a little more sober option here so uh-huh. we started doing that mm-hmm. and unfortunately um the city up in larimer county uh doesn't understand how the crs works um and, and the worst part is is they are acting on a tip from a rival instructor so yeah. which clearly shows bias uh right off the bat shows yeah. bias right off the bat um so, so we so- so the thing is, so you guys are giving this this uh, class free, um, you know. Obviously, other instructors around there aren't doing it, right? They're not giving it free, but that's Correct. you know, people. I think you, you're you're free to to uh, do whatever you want there, right? There's no law against that. Correct. Um, so, with did you ever have a problem before with any other instructors? Oh yeah, it, it's oh, okay. The, the the individual who who we're we're just going to leave that right there because there's potential mm-hmm. future litigation there. Right. So we're just going to leave that there. The, this individual, we are, we've had issues with that individual from almost the get go. Okay. Um, and it's not just us. This is an individual who, who just doesn't know how to run his company. And in order to run his company, he has to talk shit about other people mm-hmm. uh, instead of working together. Like we work with other instructors all the time across the nation in the state of Colorado um that as we speak i have an instructor at my facility in thornton colorado teaching his own class just because he doesn't have his own facility so we we love to work with other instructors this guy went the opposite way um but yeah we, we we've had issues other instructors who've had issues with us just like those those cool sheriffs who called us up and said hey what the is going on mm-hmm. uh we were able to clear everything up um, and that's usually the, the way it goes. I'm a free market guy. Uh, I'm a, I, I said it on your show last time, I, I'm an anarchist. Like, I, I just want to be left alone. Mm-hmm. Let me do my you do your and leave me alone. So, mm-hmm. unfortunately, we're the largest handgun training company, say, in the Col- uh, Colorado. So, anytime anybody talks 
like there's always somebody like hey yeah. did you see this like we, so, we but, find so, out so like by giving this one cl- or this one uh, category of class free it doesn't like destroy your business right you still have business doing other classes uh people can still charge for that and do all the training if they want to right oh man we, we've absolutely i mean we've worked with because what we uh our target audience mm-hmm. is absolute beginners mm-hmm. that's our target audience yeah we want to get people in, in the door in Correct. this thing yeah make it Correct. easy yeah uh, we we do have advanced classes, but never do we pretend to be the 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 tactical, uh, raw Pinkus types or, or that type of stuff. Well, mm-hmm. I guess Pinkus isn't too too tactical, but I mean he's yeah. he's on he's if you were to say he's on top. Yeah, he's uh, not tactical uh, uh, and he's not cool. So there's, definitely, <laughs> there's definitely room in the in the in the pool for other instructors. It's not like you're oh, killing the business I, by being like free and. No. Then, Nothing, yeah. Yeah. Listen, okay. we, we, we are the, the again the largest handgun training company in the state of Colorado. I always say that uh, I, I get for it, but like it's true, and I'm I'm just gonna live it up. Mm-hmm. Um, Fifty thousand students that that we have instructed, and I still meet people within the gun industry here in the state of Colorado who have never heard of me. Yeah, co- co- how big Colorado's got to be massive. Like yeah, I mean <laughs> size wise, it's relatively big. I think we've got about five million people here. Something like that's not huge. Yeah, uh, that's not a lot of people. Yeah, but it's not tiny. I mean, it, it's no. there, there's. I mean, out of the five million people that live here, we've only instructed fifty thousand students. Yeah, yeah. So th- there's still room for for another four million nine hundred and and fifty thousand mm-hmm. uh, people. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it like it's it's th- there's plenty of room yeah. for for everybody, especially if we work together. Because, again, where I was going at is our target audience is, is beginners. Mm-hmm. Like, it's very easy for me to be like, hey, you know what, Ken S. Tactical or, or Defenders USA, like, th- this guy is ready to go to the top, top. Mm-hmm. We're not that company. So we already got him to, to kind of middle of the road. How about you take him the rest of the way? Yeah. So there, there's plenty of room for, for all of that stuff. Okay, so how exactly does this affect um, people? Because I'm guessing, this is my guess, you could correct me here. They're, they're, um, I spoke to you about this when we were doing the, uh, the Libertarian panel or the panel at the Libertarian Party for GOA um, about talking about whether or not uh, the Second Amendment's for everyone. Um, you're doing part of the class online, part of the class in person. Obviously, COVID's going on. So, you know, in the, in the interest of the greater good, whatever. Is yeah. happening, right? We can't, we can't all get together. Some people have like real reasons why they can't do that, which I understand. So you're doing it that way. Other people are doing it that way, right? Correct. Other trainers, oh, yeah. other oh, yeah. instructors. Okay. Yeah. So when you, so when folks come and do that class with you, yeah. And then they, because in in Colorado you have to go to your local sheriff in order to get your concealed Correct. weapons permit. Okay. And so that one sheriff in that county. All those people who went to you and spent that time over there getting that instruction, he's rejecting them. He's rejecting them, correct. Okay, and then they try to do this to you, do this to you in other counties, but when you spoke to them, that was okay. Those people were getting through, but those other people from this county cannot get their paperwork through because of this. Is that correct? That that's that's basically what's going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So wow. and and we're we're in compliance with the law. That's the other thing is is that borderline slander that that's mm-hmm. going on. I can't say full blown slander. Mm-hmm. There's a lot to prove with all that stuff, but borderline slander with this stuff because uh, they continue to say tell people that we are illegally issuing certificates, which is not not true. Absolutely not true. Mm-hmm. Um, What's the what's the what does the law say under these circumstances in Colorado for issuing a certificate of training? So in in any circumstance, eighteen twelve two zero two subsection five uh, defines a handgun training class uh, in uh, paragraph three defines a handgun training class as a firearm safety course or class that is offered and taught by a certified instructor. Mm-hmm. Um, it does talk about how the entire course may not be taken online. Um, or in any other location where the instructor is not presenting the class. But there's no time requirement. There's no curriculum that needs to be followed. Um, if you did do a split class, there's nothing that says what needs to be in person, when it, what could be online. 
uh, mm-hmm. any of that stuff. So is the, the uh, guy... is so uh, sorry to interrupt, but oh, it, does, is the sheriff allowed to like make up the sheriff of a county in Colorado allowed to make up his own rules of what he's going to accept? Colorado Revised Statute eighteen twelve two zero one. Uh, subsection three specifically prohibits uh, sheriffs from having any say in this stuff. They cannot regulate or restrict the issuance of permits beyond those specified statements in part two. So they can't. They can't. We are a shall issue state. We are not a may issue state. He actually has no say in what the curriculum is. He has no say in what the structure of a class is. Absolutely no say beyond what's already in the state okay. uh, statute and the state statute. If you read it, CRS eighteen twelve. Um, I'm sorry, CRS eighteen twelve two zero five two zero two two zero two. Okay, so Colorado is uh, shall issue. Shall issue, correct. Except you have to go to the sheriffs because so I know here in Florida, which uh, Puerto Rican pistolero, yeah. Latina locked and loaded, myself, we're in Florida. I don't think we we don't have to do that. We just make sure we have whatever instruction. We send it, uh, you know, up to um, what's the uh, it's the agricultural department here, right? Yeah, ag department. Yeah. And then, uh, you only have to get like fingerprinted yeah. at the local office or whatever. Yeah, there's no the sheriff yeah. can't come in there and, the and do this kind of nonsense. Yet Colorado is sh- is shall issue. Shall issue. Okay. So it's like a it's like a shall issue with a caveat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the sheriff wants there to be a caveat. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And so yeah, and, and Colorado does not give the sheriff any kind of leeway to do anything like this. He's supposed to just make sure. Okay, they got the class. They filled out their paperwork properly. Basically, the only thing that they they can do is the the only thing they're supposed to do is process the application, verify Mm -hmm. your identity, verify your residence, and and make sure there's nothing in your criminal history that would prevent you from owning a gun Mm -hmm. or possessing a gun. The only small discretion that the state law gives them is to uh, in denying you is if you show that you are a danger to yourself. Or somebody else, but again, that that's all attached to your criminal history, mm-hmm. not not on your your occupation, not on on what type of certificate you took, not any of that stuff. So, wow. uh, it, it's they have very little say in this process. Yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.